Give it up for Mr. Don Stombaugh, ladies and gentlemen. Stand up down. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. I'm glad to be here. Actually, after the past few years, I'm glad to be anywhere. Yeah. Especially if it's before 10. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm getting aged out of the cool club because everything starts so late. I'm in a punk rock band, and it used to be cool to go on last. If you went on last, you were the headliner. Now, we're all fighting over who gets to go on first. <laughs> it's strange. That's one of the weirdest things about getting older is having to reprioritize everything. All of a sudden, comfortable shoes are more important than looking cool. <laughs> all of a sudden, I care about my bedtime. <laughs> all of a sudden, for reasons I can't quite understand, I don't want anyone on my lawn. <laughs> Now there's these commercials. Are you suffering from erectile dysfunction? And I'm like, no, I'm not suffering from that. I'm embracing it. Now that I'm not thinking about having sex all the time, I'm getting so much more stuff done. I used to do the laundry because I thought I'd get late. And now I do the laundry because the laundry needs done. <laughs> I used to do the dishes, hoping I'd get a little action. Now, I do the dishes because the dishes need done. I used to watch that show Friends, hoping in some weird way it would set the mood. Now, I don't have to watch that show ever again. <laughs> <sighs> Plus, it's kind of fun because now it feels like the shoe is on the other foot. I don't know if any of you remember being young and in love and things start to get hot and heavy and all of a sudden she says, I can't, I'm not ready. <laughs> my, 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 how the tides have changed. <laughs> now when things are getting steamy and she's all worked up, I'm like, sorry, I can't. You wanna just cuddle? <laughs> The world is changing, and it can be tough, especially for those of us over a certain age trying to adapt to our brave new world. It can be complicated navigating the fluidity of different pronoun choices and what is or is not okay to say, but we have to change with the times. I happen to be a house husband. My guidance counselor never even gave me that as an option. <laughs> Being a house husband has kind of changed my perspective a little bit. Now when I hear my friends complaining about their significant others, a lot of times I find myself agreeing with their wives. <laughs> I'm like, were you listening, Todd? Or were you just waiting for her to finish talking? <laughs> I don't know, Kyle. Would it kill you to take a few extra steps to make sure the clothes get into the hamper? <laughs> <sighs> I'm a sensitive person. I have a lot of empathy for people who feel different. I am different. I consider myself obviously different. I am very tall. And up until a couple of years ago, I was a ginger. <laughs> I'm thoughtful. I am a naturally curious person. I like to think about things. I wonder about things. I wonder would Frank Sinatra be okay with people using his song to sell stool sample kits? <laughs> I also wonder, what did they ask tall people before basketball was invented? <laughs> Boy, you're tall. Are you a lookout? <laughs> it's kind of a bummer because now people ask me if I used to play basketball. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. And that is one of the downsides of being obviously different. People's lack of creativity. The next time I hear, how's the weather up there? I'm going to be like, it's raining. 
I can't do that, that's not civilized. I should just be glad that I look like someone who's nice to talk to, because you can't do that to other people. If you see a little person, you can't be like, whoa, you are short. Man, if I was as tall as you, I'd be a jockey. All right, that's all I got, ladies and gentlemen.